Man, sometimes technology can be finicky, <laughs> as most of you probably heard in the last episode, or didn't hear in the last episode, due to really loud, loud noises. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> welcome back to another episode on the Titancraft server, and I apologize for your ears in the last episode. <laughs> I got lots of comments, lots of comments telling me that I did a bad thing on that one. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, first of all, we are over here, you got, m m most of you guys probably don't remember this, but this is our little villager breeder area, and it, as you can see, is lacking the villager part of the villager breeder, which kind of needs villagers, and, um, no, no. Uh, what is, <laughs> uh, it's not my day today, basically, we need to capture some zombie villagers because we're lacking in the villager department. And uh, uh, okay, we're in. Here. Uh, this is interesting. I've had a long day, and I'm currently recording at night right now. So, um, yeah, right now in this episode, we're gonna do a few different things. Uh, and yeah, we did those in last episode, so I can actually look at them now. But is it dark? It's not dark. Dang it! What time is it? It's noon, okay. So, um, in this episode, we are going to be doing a few things, actually. One of those things is going to be, uh, first of all, I did this in, in between episodes here. This is basically, uh, this is not supposed to be like this. This is supposed to be like, there's, like, red nether brick here. And then you go into here, and you can, uh, stand on a pressure plate, which locks this door. Because if I turn it off like that, that opens that door. Step on there, close the door. It's like a little AFK chamber. And then this is just a little access to the redstone at the bottom. It's just a little clean way to hide everything. And um, what we're going to be doing is we need to have some some of this stuff. Some of this stuff right here. Yeah. And uh, for that, for that, we're going to be filling all of this area in. Probably there too, here, there, there. We need lots of this stuff. And that is just to unlock some villagers. Because we're going to need a lot of... I need lots of sugar cane to unlock all of our villager trades, but I'll get to that with you guys later. Because what I wanted to do also, I have to make more fireworks because I love the fireworks in 1.11. They are fantastic. But yeah, most of you guys probably don't remember this. This is our little villager area, as I explained before, where they are bred and then shot up. But unfortunately, most of them were killed in the incident, which we will not speak of. Um, but yeah, we need to refill this, and then what we're going to do is uh, what I what I've been doing is I've just kind of been bringing them up via this water spout, and then hitting them into the right spot with snowballs. So I got one villager in here. I had another one. I accidentally punched it in. He died because apparently he only had half a heart. So that was not a not a very optimal thing, uh, as most of you guys would consider. But we also got to fill this one up too. So what I'll be doing is when it's daytime. I'll be po probably building this, gathering resources for the sugarcane farm, and doing all that good stuff. But when it's nighttime, I'll be out there, and I'll be looking for, I'll be looking for some of those delicious villager zombies. So, uh, wish me luck. I'll give you guys a little update when I either have a villager zombie or have all the materials for our sugarcane farm. Mob spawning on the server is horrendous. It's really terrible. Like th this, this, and then this. These are the only mobs that I've seen all night. It's gonna take us. <laughs> it's gonna take me so long to get back to that zombie. You can die. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just sit here in AFK then. Well, you can die. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Where? What? Oh, he's down here. Okay. You can die, because you're taking up the mob cap. Come over here. You're really loud, too. Come on. Come on. Just a few more. One more. Okay, you're dead now. Well, back to AFK. It's going to take me quite a while to get more more of this zombie magic. Because, as you can see, there's nothing here. And there probably will never be anything. Oh, I'm going to be here a while. I don't think you guys understand how happy this makes me. Oh my, they are both complete. The entire room is finished. It's crazy how long this took. But it's done. And 
it's great because uh, I can't express how happy I am about this stuff. But yeah, all the villagers are in, which is a good thing. And what we can use our rockets for is some fancy flight maneuvering. Like that, like this, that, except not like that. Let's try to, eh, eh. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, this is better than nothing, right? Let's climb up the ladder and then fall back down real quick. So if we go, oh, I mean, we're already up here, so why bother? <laughs> but basically, what I, I have um, started on the other half of what we're going to do today, which is, in fact, working on our sugarcane farms. And I actually lost a lot of footage because I had recorded this clip already. I had recorded, like, the next four clips, and they all got lost for some reason. I don't know where they are. But as you see here, I've done this entire room right here. What just happened? Is there, like, a baby zombie dying or something? Hi. Do you, do you like redstoning? No? Okay. <laughs> but if you look in here, these are our sugarcane farms. And we're going to have uh, two of these areas. We're going to have this area here. And it's outputting the sugarcane into these chests. As you can see, it's automatic. There's like a clock in the back over here that basically pulses the entire farm. And breaks all the sugarcane that grows. But then we're also going to have the same thing over here. And uh, I actually ran out of materials, as you can see, about halfway through. So what I did is I ran over to uh, Psychotic's shops and I bought some glass and I bought some clay and with all of our diamonds. Uh, and basically, we have a lot of that stuff now. We should not worry about that for the next few projects. And yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that that's it progress-wise that I've done. We also have tons of melons. I'm pretty sure at least half of these are full. Yeah, half of the chests are full with pumpkin with yeah with melons and then this one I think is just one just one chest yeah about like one and a half I think but yeah we're doing pretty good with that stuff and what I wanted to do real quick we need some red dye and uh, let me show you real quick uh, I don't know if I showed you guys but John got us some picks I probably did they're not in there they're my inner chest but he gave me three new picks because I lost all my picks I probably already said that but if I didn't then you guys get to know um, Oh, we need red dye. I always forget why I came, wh why I come to my storage room. It's just a problem for me. Like that. There we go. So now we have all of the red dye. And we will use this to do all of the things. So let me get to work, dye a bunch of things, build a bunch of things, and show you guys the progress when it has been done, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think I may have gotten a little bit carried away. I did all, I did half of the modules. Because <laughs> basically we're going to have four over here in this area and then we just did four over here and that is a l this was quite a lot of like off camera obviously it was all off camera but i just basically did this while watching streams and other things like that wow oh i love it and look it's already producing sugar cane and it's fantastic uh this one has hasn't started filling up yet that was just stuff i put in but yeah this stuff it's starting to crank out and I guess the next and last thing for me to do is just do that side. And I think I might do a little bit more. Oh, there's a witch. I actually might trap that. Nah, I'm not going to trap it. I'll kill it. There's always opportunities for more riches. But, of course, I say that and I'm not going to be able to find it until... I, I'm going to be able to find tons of witches until I have to actually go catch them. Because that's always how things go. But I wanted to show you guys one thing. So, the other day, I filled up a shulker box full of picks diamond deficiency by picks and I went off and I repaired them all in the end right and of course being me I lost that shulker box on the way back so I basically lost all of my pickaxes and I can't find them anywhere they're like I, I really have no idea where they would be so I mean if any of you find them it's a blue shulker box and it has picks in it and some of them are named some of them are not named but basically uh, John I helped him out with uh, catching a few mobs the, the other day, and I, I did it for free because obviously, you know, it's just, just a few zombies for fun during a stream. And what he did, he knew that I had lost all my pickaxes, and he did this. He made me three new picks with creative names, and oh, thank you so much, John, if you're watching this. I really appreciate that. Uh, ACG's Fresh Eyes, ACG's Smooth Criminal, that was the name of one of my picks, actually, that I lost. And then ACG's Invisible Touch. Thank you very much for that, John. I really appreciate that. These will be put in my... Actually, I'll probably put those in my inner chest right now so I don't lose them. Because I don't want to lose these two. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna, yeah, there we go. Those are safe in there now, and hopefully we don't lose them. But back to our task. I'm, I gotta get down and dirty again, and crack down some more, and get more work done. Cause this, uh, by the way, this is my own design. I just basically, um, basically use slime blocks, and then in the back I have a little timer that breaks it. I didn't want to use an observer block because that's expensive, and I didn't really want to worry about that. But these are pretty good, uh, pretty good sugarcane farms, and I think they'll get us what we need if we AFK for um overnight and i mean if we need to add more we have all the space back here we can do whatever we want with so i'm not worried about space or worried about farms and yeah those are just little clocks right here those run the whole farm basically and as long as we're loading it in our little afk area right there then we should be good so <sighs> let me get to work again it's gonna t oh my goodness these villagers are such such a pain you don't understand what i've went through <laughs> Uh, so I got the villagers, I, um, I pulled them from some farms up there, up at the top, you know, our little carrot potato farms, and I got them all successfully in here. Let me see if I can yoink some ender pearls from this area right here. Ender pearls, there we go. I've been needing these a lot, too. So let's see if we can, like, hop up here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So we got all of our little villagers in a hole here, and then we also have a bunch in this one right here. Let me break through real quick. And jump through and oh I have to put stuff up here but yeah we got these guys in here too they're all happy <laughs> quote unquote happy and um, I yeah that, that took a lot longer that literally took me a whole day to figure out and I am recording this the day before I go back to school so I'm gonna run out of free time basically uh, I'm not having finals though so I'll be able to record still a little bit more than I used to Hopefully, if all goes well, because I'm, you know, I'm playing other games and doing modded Imperion and stuff, and I don't know whether or not I should do a series on that. If you guys want to see series on Imperion and or modded Minecraft, tell me about that. Same thing with the UHCs. I'll be posting a UHC to the channel, hopefully, uh, soon. So, if you guys want to see any of those series, let me know down below. But, now to the actual part of this episode, like the actual thing that I've been wanting to make this episode on, because we got hugely sidetracked by that, but... Uh, let me go grab my shulker box because we are going to be working on um, we're going to be working on some stuff that I wanted to do for quite a while, and that is these sugarcane farms in here. We have our pumpkin and melon farms, but and as you can see, these things have been working around the clock. I've just been AFKing here every once in a while, and we got tons of melons too. If you look over here, boom, 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 and we have to recraft them, which is gonna suck, but. I mean, I'm up for a little bit of crafting. I did snow a lot. These shouldn't be much worse. Uh, but now, if I go over here, you'll see we need to do sugarcane. I was planning on doing sugarcane here, here, over there, same thing over there. Because sugarcane is a huge part of villager trading. It is, like, one of the biggest parts of uh, unlocking librarians and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'll throw it on my backpacks real quick for you guys to see. Uh, in this one, I just got a bunch more netherwork because we need a bunch more for the builds that we are doing. And I ran and bought that from a store, got some netherwork from our supply up there. But then we got this. This is what we're going to be using to build this. This is my own design, which I may do a tutorial on, but it's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't know. Uh, but as you see here, we got a bunch of red nether brick for our building block. We're going to need some uh, clay. I'll grab that later. But then we also got a bunch of slime blocks, a bunch of sticky pistons, some repeaters, some redstone, some redstone torches, some dirt, and some sugar cane. I need water, so I'll probably grab a stack of ice. But yeah, we're going to be throwing these in all around here. And um, I, think, uh, I think I'll be doing this off camera or i might do like a little um little montage or something like that because the replay mod unfortunately is not out for 1.11.2 yet and i can't wait till it is but i mean i guess yeah l let me crack on get a bunch of stuff done and i'll meet back with you guys when i have one module built so i can show you how it works sometimes i doubt my own memory because <sighs> i pass this guy every time i come back to my base and he's just sitting here. Like. Okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go in the nether. Or, I mean, into the overworld. Oh, great. Oh, I can't. Because this is a block. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I could have just used this guy the entire time. But no. Alas. Uh, that's kind of irritating. Considering I've been AFKing for like an hour. Waiting for a zombie villager. 
Uh, let's get some boats on our hotbar. Ready, set, go. Go, he's through. Now, hopefully, he's here. Okay. Come on. Come through. And then we do boats. Actually, wait, we gotta push him a little bit further. Like there. Now we can, now we can, like, nudge this boat in. He's in the boat. Okay, okay, cool. That was easy. That was extremely easy. Can we, like, just party down here? Yeah? Awesome. Uh, you know what you need? You need a regen potion. Do we have regen potions? <laughs> there are a lot of things we don't have here. Oh, there we go. Instant health. And regeneration, too. I'll just do this. And this is a lingering potion, but it doesn't really matter, so... I'll just go, like, this. Yay! Now we all get regeneration. Hooray! So now you should have full health, and what you need to do is get down this hole. So, mm, we have a minecart, right? And we don't have rails, so unfortunately. Do we have iron? <laughs> yeah, of course we have iron. Why would we not have iron? Uh, spruce. Let's grab us some spruce. And now, if I can find a crafting table, we'll craft us up some fantastic rails real quick. Like that. And, hey, stop flopping over there. Jeez, I can't, can't take them sometimes. <laughs> but, um, let's see, if we can go like this, we're losing one of our beacons temporarily, which doesn't really matter in my opinion. And we'll get this guy over here, right in there. And then, oh jeez, almost fell down. What we'll do is we'll break this block, and then we'll break these blocks. And we'll replace them all with stone so we can place rails. I can't replace that one with stone. But I can replace this one, right? Like that? Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. And then, hopefully, oh, I didn't do this. See, this is why you double check so that doesn't happen. And break. Good, good little villager. Now, can we nudge him down the hole? Or can we, like, what way does the rail face? Dang it. And why would it face the right direction? There's no reason for it to face the right direction, is there? Let's try that. You in the mic cart. And down the hole. Just down up. This is, oh no. This is going to be a struggle now, isn't it? Let's try, let's try this again. In the hole. Yay! Now we got to follow him down. Wait, why did he take damage? Do you need another regen potion? Probably not. <laughs> the la last words, just watch. Um, let's try to get this guy through. So, oh, this is broken. Oh, it's, it's not broken. We need a snowball. Let's get a snowball real quick. And I guess we're good to go pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, come on. Let's go. This way. Yeah, this way, and let's go so close, down the little pathway, up to the villager transporter, and we're going to have to hit him over to this side right here, which should not be a difficult thing. We'll just stay on this side, and we'll hit him with a snowball, wait till we see him coming, wait, he's taking damage. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that minecart. Oh, that was bad. I should probably go get some regeneration potions. But I, I'm too lazy to do that. Ooh, if you would have splatted, I would have been very sad. Okay, I'm just going to hit him in. Yes, we have success. Okay. <laughs> you don't understand how nervous I am right now. What I'm going to do now... <laughs> Is I'm gonna get the numbers up, get them to spit a few baby villagers out, and uh, hopefully we can get some some reproducing going on because we need a few more. And by a few, I mean probably like 20 more villagers. So <laughs> give me a day, or hopefully not more. But I mean, we all know how long these things take. Oh my, it's been another one of those days, and by those days, I mean one of those weeks because it's been another week since I last recorded, and that sucks. Let me just say that right now. I am pretty angry with myself that I 
haven't got around to it, but, you know, other games are distracting, like, I've been playing Overwatch a lot, it's a really fun game, um, just jamming away at that, playing some, playing some games with friends, but, uh, I finished this, this is all done, and what I've done is I've taken out the bar in the middle, because it was kind of obnoxious, and this looks a lot better in my opinion, and we've had these guys up and running for a little bit, as you can see by the small amount of sugar cane we have in there, and then we also have these ones over here, which have been functional the whole time, and our farming room area area is starting to come together pretty good, and I am extremely satisfied with this. The last part we gotta do is in here, and to be honest, I don't know what I want to put in here. We're, we might do some more sugarcane farms. We might just do a fancy backdrop with some chests. I don't know, because I wanted to put these sugarcane. Uh, I wanted to have these have a better output than just in their own little chests, because that's kind of an irritating spot for them. I was thinking we could just like. We could just have this area behind here be a chest room, and that would be all fine and dandy. But then, yeah, I haven't been running this farm that much because I've just been, I've just been too busy working on other things and too busy not worrying about <laughs> this for some reason. But uh, that is probably going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. Uh, we did, we did a decent amount. We did this area back here, those two farms, and we also finished our little villager thing down there. But yeah, that's going to be for me today. I am pretty much out of time. I have like five minutes left before I have to do something else. Um, I really hope you liked the episode. If you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And if you didn't, then you can dislike it because you have that freedom. But that is going to be it for me today in this episode. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.